This is Rick Harsh, and this is today's master class in fiction, and you can skip this class in uh, three days. Uh, we're going to be doing a little something different today. I just watched uh, uh, my uh, favorite YouTube reviewer, Chris Villa, um, who uh, was kind enough uh, to... Um, well, I, okay, I, I, I auditioned for a job as his uh, replacement, uh, you know, when like a substitute when, when he's on vacation or whatever. And uh, he was kind enough to give me hope um, and then leave me hanging. But, I, you know, I, I don't think that, I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Uh, and I, I still watch his show with as much... Uh, um, uh, verve, panache, and uh, even listening, um, and stuff, and thinking, uh, and I, I, it is my my one and only YouTube show, um, that I I watch. So, um, well, today he did this show on he answered uh, he answered all the questions of his readers, and I thought let's do sort of a second. Um, I can maybe anticipate some questions that my viewers have. Um, both of them, and I, uh, both the viewers, I mean, uh, not both the questions, there are more than one question. There are more than one questions. There is many questions, and so uh, what I'm going to do is answer the questions that Chris Villa answered, um, as if they were asked to me, and this can be sort of like a, a, a master class and a second audition to uh, become Chris Villa's substitute reviewer. So let's just uh, go right into it. Um, uh, there's a bit of a problem with the handwriting. Um, what what Chris Villa kindly did is is he marked uh, the, a sort of table of contents uh, on his um, on, on on the YouTube. Uh, but I I can't actually. Oh well, never mind. It's too late now. I took notes. Um, the first question was something. Ah, how many hours a day uh, do you read? Um, and I guess I'll, I'll be, you know, frank with you, uh, it depends on the day. Thank you. Uh, good question. Number two is, uh, um, if a magic fairy uh, could make me proficient uh, in reading, I think it was just reading any language, what language would that be? Well, I, definitely English. Um, the third question uh, is, um, do you like Faulkner? And I assume uh, they meant William Faulkner, and the answer is, oh, absolutely, I love Faulkner. Um, in the books and also in the movies, uh, when uh, I think it was uh, uh, Barton Fink, there, Faulkner was great in that one. Um, uh, there was something about, uh, something about French and it being indiscreet, um, but I, I, I didn't have time to take good notes, so my, my answer is yes, I think it's very indiscreet. So, uh, this one, uh, next question, was about uh, reading goals. And uh, what I, I would have to say is that uh, I have never met a goal in my life. And so, some years, some days, some weeks, some time, some time periods, I just don't have any goals. And at other times, I just have fun and, and I, I make up you know, magnificent goals, like, you know, this is the year that I'm going to read um, the national epic of every single country in the world. Um, and then, and, and then you know, I might read one or two. Um, French, is it in this? Oh, no, but we got past that. Oh, uh, um, what about a series on McElroy? Well, um... I don't think Chris is going to do it. I, he said he would, but I don't trust him. Uh, I, I trust him as a human being, but on the McElroy question, let's just wait and see. Huh? I mean, it's pretty easy to say, yes, of course I'm going to do it. But, you know, uh, 10 years from now, yeah, I'm sure oh, I, I, I said I'd do it. Jesus, what do you mean? What do you, you, you keep asking. I said I would do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, watch, watch for that in 10 years. You know, mark my words. Um, Okay, the uh, Antrim Portis Markson question. Um, I what what I'm going to do 
or what I would do if I were um, able to do it as a substitute on Chris Villa's channel, um, I would have a round table or seance with those three. Um, now, what about, did I ditch the Western Core series? Uh, no, I, 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 it, I just lost it. I can't, I can't find it. I, there's no, I had it. I had it. It was here. And, and now I, I, it just, I don't know. It, they were moving around and then they, they just started, you know, mocking. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the, 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 the horror story aspects, especially after that, uh, catch em book. <laughs> uh, the Western core series is not lost. And if I can find it, um, you know, I didn't ditch it. They ditched me. Uh, <clears throat> advice on starting your own YouTube channel um, uh, make as much money as you can as quickly as you can uh, and get out while you're still okay all right while you're still yourself but make money fast and uh, and you know do it in an unprincipled capitalist way uh, because there is no other way to do it rapidly so just do it and get out um, Let's see, we have, uh, oh, my, my study note system, uh, well, actually, it's arbitrary, um, except when it comes to my own books. When I'm reading one of my own books, and uh, uh, coincidentally, Steve, uh, Steve, what's his name, Chris Via is reading one of my books, and I, I, I can't show it to you right now, um, because I, I didn't, I only brought near me um, one book to, to show in answer to one question, but I write throughout my books, I write just, I try not to repeat too much, but I like to write things like, wow, never thought of that before, and you know, every page is marked thoroughly, and I try to do it in a different handwriting from my own, I'm a, I, I write with my left, but every once in a while I, I, I catch myself using my right, and I don't know why that is, but I actually, in te you know, I've been teaching at times in my life, I'll be at the chalkboard, and I'll be writing with my right hand, and then suddenly I'll think, wait a minute, you write with your left hand. And then suddenly I can't write with my right anymore. Um, also part of the Ketchum spookiness. Uh, so anyway, the, 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 I try to use a different script. So, you know, for posterity, when people read my book, they'll say, wow, this one must have been pretty good. Look at how it's marked up. And look what that reader said. Um, you know, magnifique, magni magnifique. I, every language, uh, I, I have a list of every way to say magnificent in every language, and I even can write it out in Tamil. And uh, uh, Arabic, not, not so well anymore. I used to know the Arabic script, but, you know, I don't know why, why you're interested in my script. Um, uh, the, my favorite collection of letters, uh, uh, diaries, uh, I agree with the Gombrovich. Um, my favorite collection of letters are the letters between Henry Miller and Lawrence Durrell. Um, the Thoreau books, uh, I'm not a Thoreau with any of them. I, I have uh, been invited to read them. I have uh, uh, three wogs, and I'm waiting for Darkenville's cat. And I'm going to do exactly the opposite of how Chris is going to do it. I'm going to read Darkenville's cat first. Um, Detective and sci-fi, cheeky question. Well, okay, so I'm only going to answer half of it. <laughs> I'm going to turn the other cheek. Uh, uh, detective fiction, uh, yeah, I, I always read a lot of detective fiction. Um, I hate it when it, when, it, when, it, when it sucks. If it sucks, and I know it sucks, it's fine. But when, when, I, when it, something is really, and I'm not going to name names because I can't remember who, who, who it was. Uh, but there was a one that was really talked up, and it was awful. But uh, generally, yeah, I do, I do like to read. Uh, um, uh, but I don't like the series ones, you know, like uh, you know, another case by so and so. I like, I like, you know, I like standalone detective fiction. Um, favorite uh, book: Viscous Sculpted. Um, I, I don't. Luckily, I know I, wrote, I don't know what the question was, but I, I wrote um, Rao. Uh, this is my favorite book uh, in terms of um, look, 
feel and uh, can you see it? Size. I learned that from Chris, by the way. Um, he said that I don't have it down quite right, but I, you know, I, trying is part of the effort. Um, think about that. I'm an aphoristic sort of person. Uh, um, most difficult uh, book that I ever read was written by two women uh, from, uh, I believe they were from Minnesota, but I was right across the river in La Crosse. I ran a bookstore, and they wanted me to read it for them, and uh, it was very long, four, five hundred pages, I don't know, and and it was very, very bad, but I, I said I would read it, and um, I told them as nicely as I could that it really wasn't ready to be published, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and uh, they didn't talk to me again. Um, the question about IT is too personal, let's skip that. Uh, Young thoughts. Um, when I think of Young, I can only think of his dream of God shitting a golden turd. Um, that's that's Young to me. Uh, recommended uh, um, recommended. I don't, um, I don't know what it said. R recommended. Yeah, I do. I recommend it. Um, and if I were you, I would, uh, oh, well, maybe, maybe I was recommended, uh, um, video. Yeah, I, I recommend that, uh, you watch Chris Villa's, uh, channel, as I do. And if I'm, uh, um, allowed to substitute, um, you know, I recommend that you watch me and write to Chris and tell him, you know, maybe you should be looking for another job. Hit the street walking, pal. Okay? Thank you. Uh, this is uh, my master class in fiction today, and also my second attempt to get the attention of Chris Villa so that I may become his uh, um, substitute reviewer. Look at the smile at the end. Thanks, and um, let's not overdo it. Bye-bye. I love you all. Every single one of you. Oh, I'm going to tear up, actually. <laughs> oh, God. Look, I... I I don't get like this very often, but this has been one of the most meaningful and probably my longest video ever. <laughs> Bye.